All right, hello, welcome to the weather update. It's 3.30, January 8th, 2021. And it's a pretty chilly day. It's got some clouds, mid-30s are the temperatures right now across the area. Let's take a look and see how cold it got last night. I don't think it got, uh, I don't think we had the radiational cooling uh, that we uh, had. But we had a beautiful day yesterday. It was clear. Nice if this would show up here. Uh, it was a clear day, but I don't think they had the radiational cooling in the, oh, they did. Let's see. Got down to 19 in West Hampton last night. So, okay. So it did wind up radiationally having the radiational cooling here, which is uh, interesting. So we did have the radiational cooling. Yeah, there it is. Look at how fast it dropped, too, when it's at radiated at West Hampton. So did get that radiational cooling last night. Uh, if you're listening, probably New Jersey probably got it, too, which is where I was yesterday. It was an absolutely beautiful day today. Yesterday, nice clear skies. Uh, let's see, got down to 22, so we were a little colder than New Jersey. Okay, but it was a nice day yesterday. We'll look at the what the sat the skies looked like yesterday here on the satellite. A moment. This is today's satellite. You can see the cirrus rolling in. But if you look at yesterday, you can see it's a clear, beautiful day uh, across the area. Right now, we got all the cirrus coming in see right there so let's go take a look at the upper air pattern we're going to go to the upper air pattern and we're going to actually look at what's going to be happening across the area so let's uh, start with this so you can see that big block there so you can see that's pushing the storm track to the south uh, and that that will continue um, you see the storm track this out. But then we have this big trough come in next weekend. And this is going to bring in some cold air. You can see it's got that uh, that connection there, that order connection. And look at how deep they, some of these troughs are, too. So going to bring in some cold air and maybe, perhaps, some impressive storms, perhaps, uh, for uh, for uh, our area, for the East Coast, perhaps. Uh, so let's uh, go take a look at, uh, I say perhaps, because we've got to look at the GFS surface. So you can see that system going by to the south. We have high pressure building in. Fair and seasonable. Here comes another system also suppressed to the south. Uh, and then we get this trough coming in. You can clearly see it there. Uh, and you got this clipper coming in. This is going to usher some pretty cold air. And let's watch. Right now the storm track still seems to be suppressed to the south. But that's in the long range. That could always change. Uh, but if we look at the thermodynamics here, the temperature anomaly, uh, you'll see we're near normal now. Uh, but what's going to happen here? Go a little bit above normal next week, uh, but then here comes the cold as we get in this. So we're going to be below normal. If that's too bad. That shot seems to go right into the middle of the country, which kind of sucks. But this is a ways off, so we'll have to see what happens. That's a ways, ways off. Uh, so let's take a closer look at our region here, and we'll start with the temperatures, at the temperature outlook for the next couple of days because we're not going to be dealing with any precipitation. So we'll just talk about the temperatures, I guess. Today, kind of chilly because we're not seeing the sun. Tomorrow, uh, it'll probably be cold, too, uh, with that northerly flow. High's only in mid-30s, so uh, 35. Th that's about average, mid-30s, so we're close to average. Mid-30s, lows at night, 20s, uh, maybe teens if you're in the Pine Barrens. Warms up a little into the four low 40s there for the middle of next week. Get that warm up ahead of the cold front, and here comes the cold air coming in. Uh, you can see the uh, mid-30s again. For next weekend and then as you get yeah look at that as we get to next tuesday you can see highs only in the 20s look at that so yeah there's the arctic air right there you can see but look at look at look at off to the west they're really getting to get into the arctic air unfortunately it looks like it's diving more south than it is toward us uh, uh look at that man there may be days in the in the in this area here uh well this is ohio and this is indiana but uh this uh, high is only in the single digits for them man imagine if that was coming toward us uh, but there's going to be an arctic outbreak that's the thing so and it, it looks like we're toward the end of the month we're going to get some really cold weather in here uh, so let's go take a look at these skies that'll be the next thing we'll look at here uh, and uh, you will see here that uh, we start off with some clouds tomorrow we should have some clear sky according to gfs and maybe a few clouds on sunday Monday, we may be mostly sunny. Tuesday, we have that system passing south, bring us the high cloud shield. And Wednesday, 
we're just in this dry pattern here and plenty of sunshine. So we're in a really good pattern next weekend. Uh, but I'm not going to go beyond that on the GFS. We'll look at the NAM, the sky cover as well. This is the 18Z NAM. All right, we'll use the 18Z. Uh, so you see that's clouds there, but they start starting to get pushed to the south tomorrow. So I think we're going to have a mostly sunny day tomorrow, actually. Uh, and then uh, that's as far as it goes into Sunday. Um, so and those are the only models I'll look at. I want to keep this weather update brief, uh, but uh, we'll go a little more in depth in the next weather update, uh, which will be sometime over the weekend, if not tomorrow, Sunday. Take care and thank you for watching.